Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video, it's Mr. K. And in this video, I'm going to analyze a previous chess game, aka today's chess game that I just finished playing. And I hope you guys like it. Let's hop into it. So I'm going to start off by moving my pawn to e4. He has some weird tactics by moving his pawn to g6. Maybe he's going to move his bishop to g7. We'll see. I'm going to move my other pawn to c4. Trying out some different moves. He lines up with my e4 pawn by moving the other one to e5. I'm going to move my pawn to b3. Uh, protecting my pawn at c4. So let's see what he does. Okay, he's going to move his knight to f6. I think he's protecting f7 square. Even though I haven't started, he's planning in advance, which is a good thing. Let's see. So I'm just going to move my pawn to d3. Once again, if I didn't mention, he actually was attacking my e4 pawn as well, which was actually probably his plan. I think that was his plan. And I think the knight's going to stay there, still protecting that 7 square. Maybe I shouldn't have played that. Maybe I should have. I don't know. Anyways, he gives me a check at b4 with his bishop. I don't want to lose the knight. I'm going to protect the check with my bishop. And I'm not going to move my king so I can't castle later on if I do want to do that. He does take. He does take. He's not going to move anyway. He's going to take. Okay. I see. We'll take with the knight. No need to take with the queen yet. Who moves his knight to c6? I think he wants to get over to the d4 square. We'll see what he does. I'm going to move my knight to f3 in the same file as the f7 square. And my plan is to get rid of his knight at f6. Okay, he attacks my queen. I think if I don't move in the right spot, he's going to attack my king. Well, check me, basically. And threaten to take my rook. So what I'm going to play is moving my queen back to d1, protecting that square. He will move his pawn to c5, protecting his knight again. Now, this knight is not, is really bad for me i'm gonna try and get it out by baiting him into taking the knight i just put onto f3 will he take fingers crossed he does he does take we'll take with my queen so we're uh, once again in the f file he's gonna move his pawn to d6 protecting the two pawns that are lining up with mine I'm going to move my pawn to g3 so I can access my bishop over to that side if I'd like to later. Although he does a bad, really bad, well, he does a good move, but although it's bad for me, actually. Sorry. Although I'll just move my queen back to g2. He's moving his pawn to a5 i think he wants to break through the sides like all of a sudden have a pawn pawn attack at me which would not be good at all i hope he doesn't do that okay i'll move my pawn to h3 because i think his bishop's gonna pay right now let's see yes he moves he he moves it back i can Move my queen back to the F file again. No need for that yet. So I'll, for now, I'll move my pawn to H4. Try to get higher up and break the king's side. Okay, he knows what I want to do. And he's blocked my pawn from going up higher. I don't think I want to wreck the pawn structure by moving my other, my G pawn, G file pawn to g4 so for now i'm just gonna leave it as so and i'm gonna move my knight over to f3 then go to g5 if it works out 
Okay, he knew I wanted to go to G5 and he moves his of uh, his knight to H7. <sighs> Doesn't matter. I have a pawn protecting my knight. So I'm gonna move attacking his knight and once again my pawn is protecting my knight. So even if he does take I still got back up. And he does take so we trade knights, both of us have two rooks, a, a bishop peach, and queens. Who's in a better position? I actually don't know. I, to, be honest, to be honest, I think it's pretty equal. Ooh, I did not see that coming. I actually did not see that coming. The queen at g5 is dangerous. Thankfully, he doesn't have a dark squared bishop, but he does have a white squared bishop to go... He can still mate me, so he can go on top or beside my king. Probably on the side, because I still have a bishop protecting the top. I'm going to try and move my rook to h4, thinking stomach how that's going to chase his queen away. He castles. He castles. Now that b7 pawn is actually a target, considering I can mate him if I hit b7 with my queen. I think that could be my plan. So for now, I'm going to move my pawn to a3, and I'll try move the other one up to b... No, that's b4, sorry. Okay, he moves his pawn to f5, going to try break the structure. Honestly, it'd be a good thing if he takes the two pawns because he opens my queen directly to the b7 square. Hopefully, he doesn't see the diagonal. I'm going to move my pawn up to b4. Okay, he blocks my other pawn. I'll take the other one and then I'm going to move my rook to b1 so, it's pre so the b7 square is protected if I want to go there with my queen. So obviously he's going to take my pawn. So I can't go any further with that one. And yes, as I said, I'm going to I moved my rook to b1. Hopefully, he imagine he actually does take the two pawns, uncover the line, the diagonal for my queen, and I made him. That actually be pretty awesome. Okay, we're looking good so far. He did take he did take he did take will he take again we'll see for now i'll just play some cheap move and hope so i don't want to actually move my queen nor my rook i could take his pawn but i think it'd be a little bit too obvious so i'm going to keep it hidden for now and i'll just play a cheap move as i said before and move my bishop to e2 Will he take? Let's see, fingers crossed. He takes, he takes. Okay, so he attacked my bishop. <laughs> I know I'm saying this stuff. And I'm going to take his pawn at d3. Yep, I'm going to take it. Just joking. I can make him. Exactly. There's a checkmate. The game has ended with an awesome checkmate. I don't think you see that checkmate at all. That was the biggest surprise ever for him. He was probably ready to mate me or something. Honestly, I think that's what he wanted to do. He probably was going to mate me. Like, he'd come over then with his white squared bishop. And he has the rook the whole time protecting that pawn. I think we came out good in this game. Make sure to like and subscribe. And in case you're wondering at all, I, how old I am? Well, I'm nine years old. If if that's what you wanted to know, now you know. If you didn't want to know, I think you know as well. Well, exactly. Well, yeah, basically, yes. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. I um, hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night if it's night time for you. And peace.